In Zero is back, and the thing involving Rebecca really... Ugh. We actually start off with Shiki and Shira actually landing at the capital. And Shira might feel like he's inferior to his own father, because he mentions that he didn't actually build the empire his father did, he just took it over. And he seems kind of, like, depressed about it. I guess Shiki was able to catch on to that, because he actually encourages him by saying it, then it's his duty to take care of it, since it was his father's. And then we all, of course, skip over to Rebecca, who is landing at a completely different place, with no suspicion whatsoever. In fact, she's still on comms with Muller, disguising himself as Shiki and Shira. And while they sound like idiots, she doesn't suspect a thing. In fact, she even comments that uh, Shura sounds like Ziggy, or at least a bad imitation of, of him. Her and Happy climb down a, a secret hatch into Muller's second lab, because he's got two labs apparently, and they immediately got hit by gas and are knocked out. I really cannot stand the fact that Rebecca fell for that so easily, and even though she consistently said that the two of them were talking weird and didn't make sense, she still trusted them to the point where Muller was able to catch her. Like that, that, uh... Well, whatever. We skip back over to Shiki and Shira, who are in Muller's known lab. The thing is completely smashed. He obviously abandoned it. Shira's finally able to get in contact with his people on the capital, demanding to know where Muller is. They they don't know. They don't even know he has a second lab. They're just all freaking out, trying to figure out what the hell what to do. Shira's pissed, and that's when Pina is able to uh, alert them the fact that there's about to be a uh, bomb go off in the lab. So yeah, apparently Muller decided to <laughs> hit a self-destruct button on his lab. Why do mad scientists always have a self-destruct button? Like, what, what purpose is that? What good is that? I mean, seriously, this is like the first time in fiction I have ever seen a self-destruct button being used in favor of the mad scientist who put the thing in place. Usually it's used against them. This is the first time that it's actually <laughs> benefiting Muller because he's about to blow up Shira and Shiki. I don't know what happened in Universe Zero that led Muller to be so mentally unstable because the guy seems to be thinking 12 different things at once. None of them that make sense at all. Like even if it, he could create a coherent thought, it completely turns into something batshit crazy. For example, so he does a scan on Rebecca. He figures out that her ether for time travel is located in her legs. He then decides that legs are basically feet, which they're not, and that's gross. He doesn't want to touch feet because they're covered in bacteria. So he's going to cut off her legs because at that point, they're no longer feet. They're now they're just objects. No, they're, they're still legs. They still have feet on them, but now they're covered in blood because you fucking cut them off with a saw. So they're actually even dirtier than before. I think the man might be on crack. I don't, I don't really understand his mindset. The man was always a psychopath, but for some reason, he just seems all loopy in this world. While Muller's doing the prep work to cut off her legs, Rebecca wakes up, and she obviously figures out that she was a trap the entire time and she gets caught. Muller explains that he plans on stealing her ether so he can do time travel, but she thinks to herself, well, that's not gonna work because in Universe Zero, you cannot manipulate time, the flow of time. It is, it is completely linear. She knows this specifically because she tried using Cat Leap before, and all it did was just give her a speed boost. She couldn't use it to, you know, do that 15 second rewind that she's able to do. So it makes perfect sense that Universe Zero, the beginning of all universes, can't be changed. We already knew that, but I guess this means Muller doesn't know that he's in Universe Zero. In fact, the fact that he did research on time travel and figured out how to use both gravity and a bunch of a fucking atomic bombs to use time travel, he apparently didn't figure out that there's a multiverse, and he's currently in the beginning of the multiverse. So basically, when he activates those 20,000 bombs, all he's gonna do is just kill himself. Now, in turn, he's also gonna kill fuck ton of people, an entire planet's worth, but this just means that in the end, no matter what Muller does, he's destined to fail. Which is just a Muller thing to happen. You can't get any more Muller than that. Fuck everything up, kill a lot of people, end goal, none. Funny thing is that Rebecca actually remembers the time that she jumped into a universe where she was missing her legs and she had mechanical legs, and she assumes that this is probably that universe, and so she's just freaking out because she realizes she's about to lose everything. And Muller, being the psychopath that he does, he pulls out a chainsaw, not medical tools, a fucking chainsaw, and plans to just start cutting her legs off in the most violent way he can. And he starts to do it, like, you see blood splurting up as soon as he lays the chainsaw on her leg. She's screaming in pain, obviously. And right before he basically gets past the skin, Happy 
just smacks him across the face and he goes flying. Obviously, Happy's nowhere near strong enough to do something like that, and it's actually revealed. Amira disguised herself as Happy. The real one is apparently unconscious back on the ship. First off, I had no idea that Amira's ether gear gave her the ability to not just change basically her body and face, but also the size, so she was able to shrink herself down to happy size. So yeah, her ether gear is way more useful than I thought it was. I always figured it was for basic infiltration, but no, it is. this makes her like the best spy you can have. Her only problem is that she has a tendency to reveal herself, which she does here. And then for some reason she decides <laughs> to try to play a game where saying, Ah, oh, yes, I'm not real happy, but you, I'm not going to tell you who I am. And obviously Rebecca knows who she is and who she works for. But apparently that's not entirely accurate. She straight up says that that information is outdated and she doesn't actually work for the galactic government anymore. She doesn't reveal who she's working for now, but apparently she's now going to become a mainstay on their ship, I'm guessing. Because whoever she's working for is going to be connected to, you know, the Eden Zero, most likely. She was also smart enough to realize that she wasn't going to be able to win this fight. So she sent out a message to Shira and Shiki to tell them where the second secret lab is. And they just smashed the wall. Just completely burnt and their clothes are partially gone. Like, they got full face in that explosion of Muller's. That must have really sucked because obviously Shiki most likely just teleported Pina away, but that means him and Shira basically got fucking nuked. But yeah, another one of Muller's plans failed. He could, he wasn't able to kill them. What shock, surprise, oh my god. But yeah, even though Muller is as powerful as Xenolith with his gravity, I don't see this fight being fair. He's not a combatant. In fact, he's barely a sentient human being at this point. The guy doesn't seem to know where the hell he is half the time. So unless his gravity is just like overwhelmingly stronger than Shigi's and Shira's, this should be a basic beating. The only way this fight is going to be fair is if Xenolith has some other thing up his sleeve. So I'm just like talking like a giant mech or something. Either that or he's able to neutralize ether. That is my biggest assumption right now is that he has some kind of tech that neutralizes ether because he has the ability to steal people's ether. So being able to neutralize it while in a fight makes sense. That is the only way I can see this going in Mola's favor. Otherwise, he's about to get the shit beat out of him. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up so you can enjoy more easier and other anime things. Thank you and have a great day.